Now lining up here at Asakai Bosch on stage three of the MNG Investments PE plate. It's a relatively short day, 57 k's, a thousand meters of climbing. The first challenge is the king of the mountains. Virtually as they leave the venue here, they head up the mountain and then uh, behind the Carriedo and then over the mountains onto the uh, ocean uh, plain on the far side into those beautiful lush Titsikama forests uh, and heading to the Titsikama village inn which is our race village, our final race village today. The racing up front, well it's the Mbuka type dev team in the both the men's and the women's, they're dominating. Can anyone catch them today? We'll wait and see. After the roasting they received in the stage two oven, the combination of cloudy cool weather and a 57 kilometer route had the 260 riders smiling as they rolled away for stage three. The Soloco climb was a long drag for around three and a half kilometers. The leading group had warmed up and they were already putting time into the big group behind. Further back, the race had splintered in spectacular fashion with small bunches grinding their way up to the summit in their own time. At the top, Frankhoff and Sale took the day's bonus prize ahead of Matt Kayser, Rousseau Becker and Rudy Kuhn. The Simply Store e-bike team were the next team across the line. The terrain and vegetation was typical of the Surinese mountains. Zara Bear, Fidwe Mokorossi and Ampili Motong in full flight, smashing the descent with speed and grace. The lush rural farmlands of the Langklof were in keeping oh, with the journey it, south. <laughs> John Bradshaw oh, put on the show and revealed himself. Women's race leaders in Boko Type Dev Live, Danielle Stratum and Carla Stumpf had teamed up for the first time. The road back down to the coastal plain was a full gas, no brakes required tar road descent. Back on the dirt road towards the Easter River, and Sipo and Tembu heads up the cycling program at Plets Kwano Cycling Academy in cruise control. Up ahead, second placed Becker and Keizer were chasing the Mbuka boys for all they were worth. Water Point One was on a route regular on the massive Regain Protea farm, where food and lube was in good supply. Yes, today. Horrible day today. Good one. See you at the end. There's uh, like a start, but uh, rough in the beginning, but we're good. Like a day. Yeah, we're ready. chasing, chasing, chasing. Yeah, we're ready to go now. Bye. Thanks. Good luck to us. <laughs> a chance to escape into a world of natural beauty for four days. Thanks to all the landowners who make their farms available for the event. Away from the protea and dairy farms, the Titsikama region is a mix of indigenous forests and plantations. The roads were broad and shaded. It was an exceptional riding experience. It and Dukok and Dane Coppin were in perfect harmony. A day to savour, to wallow in the beauty of the region. And for Matt Dixon to take the PE longest wheelie record. The MNG Investments PE plate is a journey that offers so much to so many. Whether racing, riding or sightseeing, it offers it all. Completed by an off-the-bike experience that is hard to beat. Like, you know, it's nice because you feel like there's constant scenery changes and just, yeah, today's been awesome. I love this. This is a typical sort of Plettenberg Bay riding forest and it's my favourite. Mike and Andy Parrott, one of a number of father and son combinations in the field. It was a slog for some and a jog for others. The trail soon led them down towards the coast. The Indian Ocean was a stunning sight as they burst out of the forest. This is Robohook, 
one of the countless craggy cliffs that offers dramatic backdrops. Surely you have to stop and take a photograph. The Coimbra guys did. So did Andy. And Corley and Velna. And Dietland and Corin from Namibia. I feel an awesome view. Makes it all worthwhile. I nearly had a vomit earlier on. But now I'm feeling on top of the world, eh? Yeah, brilliant. <laughs> view makes it worth all that climbing. Thought it was going to be an easy day, but yeah, that makes it. <laughs> The finish was not far off, but first, the MNG Investments boost bar by 10 k from the finish was a great reason to stop. Uh, we uh, had a tough day yesterday, so uh, we've decided to recharge the, the legs today. So just pushing 230 watts through the whole day, try to recharge the legs, really have a go at the podium tomorrow. Thank you very much. I'm going to recharge and get out there. While the stage was a stunning scenic feast, it was no pushover and the racing was flat out. Franco von Sale and Rudy Kuhn took the stage ahead of Signal Bikes Ole Munich and Rogan Smart to cement their hold on the overall lead. And the Buko women emulated their male teammates. Daniel Stradom and Carla Stumpf beat Junita McKenzie and Michelle Reed to extend their overall lead with a day to go.